Welcome to this week's session with the Putnam County District Library and the Guiding Ohio Online Line Grant. This week we're going to be looking at how we can manage multiple Google accounts. Many of us have Google accounts for our personal use, but often we have a, a Google account that might be for work or for um, a different organization, a group we might be a part of, a hobby we might have, and we create more than and we have more than one account. So we're going to look at how you can manage those accounts and work on two or three accounts at the same time and not get it so that your information is crossing over between those accounts. So what I've got pulled up here is back behind is I have my Google Chrome. Now typically when we're working in um, Google you're going to want to use Chrome to do your work. So what I've got is I've got in front of you what you see are what are called profiles. There's a difference between a Google profile and a Google account. A Google profile is what you have and you can create when you are actually using Chrome on the machine versus your uh, versus your um, Google account is um, what uh, Google itself uses and you know you can actually log into a, a Google account from um, other web browsers as well. So what I've got here is I've got my main library uh, one, two, and then I'm going to show you how you can add another one. I do have this set it comes up on startup. I could have it that it doesn't show up if I chose to. So what I do is I click here on my main library account. And when I click here on my main library account, notice up here at the top I've got this yellow bar with this icon. That is my profile, and typically what I like to do is I like to kind of have all of that match up if I can, color-wise. It just makes it easier for me to remember and know, okay, this is my work account, this is my, you know, um, personal account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here where my um, nine dots are, click on those, and I'm going to say, okay, I would like to go into my account. But going into my account, I click and I'm going to go to a Google account and notice I'm not logged into my actual Google account. Remember I said this is just a profile that's specific to Chrome. So I'm going to log in here as my library um, let's do library put one and when I save that then I'm going to put in my password and I'm going to say next and so now I am actually working in my library account. If I wanted to um, change this um, across the top here, that color, say I, want, say I want that to match up, I am going to click here. Notice I've got um, this little um, pencil. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to say, you know what, I want to make this green so that it all matches up across the top. So I know now I'm in my actual Putnam County um, Library one account, and that's what I'm working in. So I'm going to close this up, and now I have my information, and if I were to click here on my mail, it's going to jump out to my uh, mail that's for my Library one. Now let's say I um, want to go back and I want to actually get out of here and I want to go to a different account. So I'm going to go here to my Putnam 1 and I'm going to say, you know what, let's sign out. And when I sign out, I can remove an account if I would choose to. So I'm going to simply say remove an account and that's only removing it from my login. It's not removing the account altogether. That's important to note. Say, so, yep, let's remove it. So I'm no longer logged in with this profile to that Google account. I'm going to quit Chrome altogether here one time. And then I'm going to go back in because I want to show you how I added those profiles. So note, remember this screen where I had my main account, and my second account. I'm going to add a third account. I'm going to say add, yep, let's, but I'm going to use sign in because I want to use a Google account that I already have out there that exists. So I'm going to type in this time, I'm going to do library put 3. 
three. And when I say next, I'm going to put in my password. And now I am logged in. Sync again. I'm not going to turn sync on because this is not my own personal device, and I don't want to um, have it so that anyone else could ever sit down and be able to get to my bookmarks and the information that I might have saved. So I'm going to say no thanks. And I am going to then be logged in here, and I'm just going to, I'm going to leave this the purple, and I'm going to say done. So you can now switch between my Google profiles here. So if I want to switch between them, Here's where I go, and I'm going to switch between this profile, and notice what happens. It pulls it up in a whole separate window. So now I can work in this window with my Putnam County 3 account. I can work in this window with my Putnam County 2 account. So anything that I do here, my Google Docs, the um, Sheets, what have you, is going to save to the Putnam County 2 account. And anything I do here is going to save to that Putnam County 3 account. So like I said, I've got three different accounts here, but I have three different profiles. So the key is, is to make your Google account match up with your Chrome profile. And then you would basically, you would be working between the different windows because notice it pops up popped up a whole different window for me to work in. That is how you can manage and work with multiple Google accounts. I hope everyone has a good week. Next week we're going to look at and talk about um, extensions and what exactly extensions are when it comes to Google. Hope everyone's week is great. Thanks.